welcome back to my channel my name is Sassy. if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for always making sure that you come back to this channel if you are new to this channel what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so that you can be notified every time there is a new video today on Sassy talk we have something different as you can see i am in the kitchen and let me welcome you to Sassy's kitchen in Sassy's kitchen today i will be showing you how i prepare my dried mutete with pilchard what are you waiting for join me So guys, here are my ingredients. I have my Norox cubes, which is curry vegetable flavor, my onion, my green pepper and uh, uh, tomato. And then I have my Himalayan salt, um, extra virgin oil. I use Himalayan salt and extra virgin oil because they are healthier. The Himalayan salt, I got used to it because I used to be on a diet called bunting where you cut out sugar and caps. So I got used to using Himalayan salt. I haven't stopped even though I have fallen off the wagon a little bit and then of course i have my pilchard in sweet chili sauce yes i prefer pilchards in sweet chili sauce because it gives it that extra you know tasty um flavor and then of course i have my dried mutete right here it has been dried and preserved so yeah what i'm gonna do now is boil my mutete cut my onions and green pepper as well as tomatoes I have my mutete boiling I'm gonna give it a minute so that it can boil again you know you don't need to boil it for a long period of time because when it was dried they actually cooked it first before they could you know um, pound it to make it you know soft and stuff before they dried it so that's what they did so it's not necessary for you to cook it for a long period of time so after a minute I'm gonna take it out and go wash it so here we go our mutete is done we have boiled it as you can see so we are going to wash it mutete is sour as a result you have to make sure that you remove that water you wash it properly some people prefer you know to leave a bit of sourness because it's what makes it mutete i always say that if mutete is not sour then it's not mutete so that's how i prefer it as well i don't like to wash it until the bitterness or sourness is out no i want the bitterness or the sourness to be there because that is what makes it mutete so i'm gonna wash it but if you prefer washing it until the sourness is is, is out then that is okay as well so i'm going to transfer it in a bowl as you can see i will transfer it in a bowl i have to use cold water because it's already hot i will use cold water yeah Okay, so wash the pot because we are still going to use this pot. We are not done yet. Alright, so we just put it aside while we drain the mutete. I will drain it first to remove the, the water is a little bit hot. So I want to remove that first water. As you can see, you see how it looks like? It doesn't look clear. The juice has to be out. And then I put again um, another water this is what i'm gonna do just to remove the juice the sour juice okay drain it again i will drain it again and then i'll put again this is for the third time and it's enough for me it's enough for me because i don't want to remove the the, the 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 taste you know the mutated taste so i will do like this just to remove the last um, juice so yeah all right then that's it okay guys so there i have my mutete it has been boiled washed so i'm going to keep it aside now the next step that i'm going to do is to fry my onions tomatoes and green paper just to make it you know soft so here are my onions cut 
in rings tomatoes also cut in rings with the green pepper i don't really have a specific method on how to cut it you can cut it anyhow all right guys so i'm gonna put my olive oil you know in africa we don't measure so just make sure you put enough okay just make sure you put enough there i have my olive oil all right and then i'm gonna put my onions put my onions onions i'll start with my onions and green pepper so guys here i have my onions and green pepper in olive oil so i'm going to put half a teaspoon of salt then i will reduce the heat and then i'll cover it until it's soft it will probably just take three to four minutes once you see that it's soft you can add your tomatoes all right so our onions are now soft as you can see they are now soft so i will add tomatoes i'm gonna add tomatoes then i'll mix it well i'll mix it well and cover it again for a few minutes for two to three minutes all right so it's soft enough now i'm gonna take my cube i won't put all of it i'll just cut it in half because if you put all of it it might be too salty so i'll add my cube then then just mix it well i've added my cube and i'll mix it well okay there we go it smells so good it smells really really good so i've mixed it well now that i've added my cube i will take my mutete as you can see i'll take my mutete and put it in and then i also mix it well my mutete is very mixed well with the yeah, I had to switch on the light, guys. So there is my mutete mixed well with the onions and the green pepper and tomato. I put a cube as well. So I'm gonna taste it to see if the salt is enough. You know, if you don't wanna eat mutete with filters, just like th this, you can actually serve it. You can serve it with either. Um, Chicken, you can serve it as a side dish, put it on the side with either chicken stew or beef stew. So there we have our mutete. Now the only thing that's remaining is the pill chart. I have cleaned my pill chart as you can see. You have to clean it. I usually take out the inside part. Some people do not clean it. They say that if you clean it, it won't taste better. But my kids don't like it when it's not cleaned. They don't eat it. So I always make sure I clean and take out the inside part. So I'm going to transfer the pilchard into my pot. Okay, so there we have it. I have to transfer my pilchard and then I'll be stirring it. Okay. I've transferred my pilchard and then I have to mix it well okay i have to mix it well to make sure it's mixed well okay here is my filter so i'm making sure that it's mixed so well okay so there's still some juice on the plate as you can see there's still some juice on the plate the juice on the plate has to be removed completely it has to be removed completely mix it well again okay i'm mixing it well again there we go okay my heat is very low so i have to increase it a little bit so that it can cook well to remove that low so that it can cook well 
And then in the can, of course, as you can see, there was juice remaining as well, okay? As a traditional Kavango woman, <laughs> I'm not too traditional, okay? But anyways, because we are cooking this the Kavango way, so we have to make sure that all the juice in the can is removed. I've placed water in the can, so I'm trying to reduce all, I'm trying to remove all the juice, not to reduce all the juice from the can and then I will pour it in my pot because it's too thick I want to make it a little bit lighter so as you can see now it's a little bit lighter it's normal thick so guys just look at that isn't it beautiful isn't it wonderful just look at how my mutete with pool chart looks so nice very nice so i'm gonna cover the pot and let it stay for just a minute i will reduce my heat so that it doesn't get bent it looks absolutely amazing delicious you can name it yummy and now i'm gonna cook my pap because this mutete will be served with pap other people can serve it with rice but i'm gonna serve it with pap because we are doing it the traditional way so i'm gonna cover my pot and then reduce my heat for a minute here is my lunch my mutete with pap and lunch i just sprinkled a little bit of herbs on top of my pap my maize meal pap just to you know give it a beautiful look i'd say <laughs> so there we have it let's enjoy lunch Pra dizer tudo que vivemos em 60 segundos Em um segundo 